Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Njoki, but you can call me Zippy. So in this video, I'm going to be making a slick low burn. And I was actually in a hurry to get to town. That's why, I mean, hence the voiceover, I could not manage to speak while I was doing the video because it would have taken a lot, a lot more time. So I'm starting off with clean hair. This was clean hair. I had just washed my hair a um, few minutes ago and moisturized it. So the secret of making this leak loban if your hair is like not long enough is to separate your hair into sections and to slick down each section at a go instead of working with your whole hair as a bunch like the whole head. So I started off with the back section of my hair and I'm just combing through right now not like the whole um, hair not the whole length of the hair just a bit so that i make it a bit more sleek because i was not using any gel i was not going to use any gel on this particular hairstyle and then when i was done i just tied it down and that's the point that i wanted to like have the rest of my hair at so i went on and separated uh, my hair in the middle section at the front just to give it a little style so that the slick low bun is not so plain, you know, just to give it a little taste, a little look and stuff like that. And then I separated another part of my hair and just slicked it down. You definitely want to do this because when you're working like with hair as, um, as a bunch of hair, like your whole head, it will definitely give you um, a lot, a harder time other than working in sections and you guys know that i really do like to work in sections because it makes everything so much easier and of course it will give your hair um your bun more volume because because everything is now like slicked down you know not like um some hair is hanging somewhere up and stuff like that so everything is literally slicked down and even your hair will look better at the end so there I go, I'm just um, putting my hair down in sections. That's basically what I'm doing, just taking sections, combing through and just um, tying it all down. So that's, what, uh, that's exactly what I did with the rest of my hair. And yeah. And then you definitely want to make sure that you are using a small tie if your hair is not long enough so that it gives your hair volume it's not taking up um, a lot of like space on your hair i don't know if you understand what i mean i don't know if i'm making any sense but ukitumia take a dogo it's not going to take up a lot of volume so it will give your hair more 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 volume at the at the back you know yeah Again, um, I'd advise not to have your your crunchy or your that thing that you're using to tie your hair too tight because it will be very, very uncomfortable. So just make it a little, a little too loose. I ended up having to remove the tie again later on during the day because it was too tight on my head and I could feel like there was a lot of tension on my hair. So now I'm just going in with a brush just to slick everything down and um, to make sure that those hairs that are not getting to the end are like slip, yeah, like zinalala. <laughs> so again, I went in with my brush just to kind of lay my edges-ish without gel. And then later on, 
I tied I tied my hair with a head wrap just to ensure that everything is now sleek, like seriously sleek, you know. And there is the outlook. That's how my hair ended up. That's how the sleek low bun was looking and I was very very, you know, happy with the style. I loved it. I honestly did love it. You can try this out with the tips that I've given in the video and tell me how it turns out for you. And yeah. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.